just above your head. Good morning. Well, today's the day we're getting all the OSB cladding on the outside of the roof skeleton. And that means climbing on the outside of the roof. So we're all harnessed up, ready to work off the edge. I'm working backwards. My life is in your hands here, so. <laughs> yeah, but I'm also working backwards. Mm -hmm. You're pulling that through. Yeah. You get that. Oh. If you drop back now, that should be locked. Right. And then to descend, you push it forward or pull it back. Too hard. Be all right, Nick. What? Then you'll be all right. Squeezing through there. My heart is battling for seven. Okay. Uh, can you pass me a plank out? So that's one side done. We're leaving the top bit just because the A-frame has got a slot into this hole so we don't want to hinder that. So that's one side all boarded. It looks so weird. So now we're going to do this side. And the thing about using the OSB is that it makes that side of the roof a structural panel because it's structural board. So when all the nails are in and it's all screwed together, that acts as a structural, like it adds strength to the whole roof structure which is only a good thing. Pulled off before. Uh, you meant to actually be attached before you go up, you know, Dan. No, we can cut that bit. Mine does the same lot. Okay. Even if you put the what, even if you get your, your nails lined up on the top one, you just follow them down in a straight line. Okay, it's not as easy as that though. It's not, I agree. I know it's not. 
Right, watch yourself. I'm Nail right. him where you are. <laughs> Down the middle. But don't go top. Huh? Don't go top, just go to the middle. So we've got enough flex. Yep. I think we'll leave these for now. We've got to I'm just kind of judge it. Uh, if you get through this one, you're not going to get caught round it. Straight down there, you run the window still anyway. That seems a bit sticky. I don't know if I'm not doing something right. That's it. Right, stand up. Turn around. Really, really starting to come together. Didn't I say you'd be able to see the roof shape? So obviously I've got to trim this edge and then there's another little bit of board right at the top. Then Monday we're going to do the big long side and then that's all three sides panelled. Hopefully then I can staple or tack some like breather membrane on which will keep the water off of the boards just for now until everything's kind of all finished. What a change. Anyway, it's getting dark and it's raining now. So I will see you all to finish off this cladding of the roof on Monday.